This week, I want to talk about the politicization of Remembrance Day, because it's a huge problem. The point of Remembrance Day is not only the commemoration of fallen soldiers and those who serve in Canada's military, but also our remembrance of the victims of war and a commitment to peace going forward. And that's all perfectly reasonable, but conservative politicians are trying to twist it into something different. They're trying to use it as a wedge issue. In part, claiming that prayer has been banned at public ceremonies, which is absolutely not the case. It's just an outright lie. There are multiple priests who have shared that they offered prayer at public ceremonies, and we're not prevented from doing so at all. The Conservatives just want to cultivate outrage. But what I really want to talk about is something that happened in Ontario at a high school, Robert Borden Collegiate, because it really indicates just how toxic this sort of politics has become. They're targeting schools. So for starters, I've been part of the planning of Remembrance Day ceremonies at schools, and it's pretty straightforward. You have a couple of poems, a couple of songs, maybe a speaker, a moment of silence. Usually there are wreaths hung at the front of the gym, and everybody goes go back to class. There's no, like, template for it. You just look for stuff that you think fits. Pretty ordinary stuff. It's organized by volunteers. And so one of the songs that was selected at Robert Borden Collegiate was Haza Salam. It's a song in Arabic that calls for peace, and it was offered in the context of the conflict in Israel and Palestine. And I'm going to take a second to read you an English translation of the lyrics. Quote, Is this peace? So why the peace? And the gaze that pains my heart in the dream. Words after words, and an eye that sheds tears in a space between spaces. No place for it in existence. Why not? Why no no no? Why not? Why no no no? That's it. That's the lyrics translated in English, best I could find. It's a song about peace. Doesn't mention Gaza, doesn't mention Israel. But that's not going to stop a bunch of politicians, including Lisa McLeod, from calling for the firing of the principal and discipline and calling it anti-Semitic and all these horrible things. It's not anti-Semitic. All that happened was that Arabic was spoken in a school, in a song that called for peace. That's it. If the existence of Arabic is anti-Semitic, what are we even doing here, folks? The point of Remembrance Day isn't just the veneration of soldiers. It is honoring their sacrifices. How can you observe Remembrance without mention of an active war that is going on now? An internationally recognized genocide. What was the point of World War II if not to stop genocide? What part of Never Again does not apply to the genocide currently happening in Gaza? Honoring memories without meaningful action is just tokenization. They point to the memories, but they don't actually honor their goals. And the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada has spoken up in defense of this school, and I'm glad they did. Because they make it clear the Arabic language is a cornerstone of their religious practice. And we cannot pretend that the Muslim faith doesn't have a place in Remembrance Day. It absolutely does. 22 Muslims fought for Canada in World War I and thousands are actively serving in Canada's military at present, and tens of thousands have throughout its history. Are their sacrifices not to be honored? But that's not stopping Robert Ford and Collegiate from being targeted. The principals had to formally apologize after the school was targeted by vandalism. And the whole thing's been a mess because politicians like Lisa McLeod simply couldn't accept a song about peace being sung in a language that is sacred practice to millions and millions of Canadians. It's wrong, no matter how you look at it. 